Good afternoon, Aquarius men. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do, gentlemen, is go on and give you your romantic reading, which is valid, gentlemen, until the end of this year, of the predominant female energy that I see coming towards you. And, gentlemen, it could be multiple women. Okay? So what I'm going to be doing today, gentlemen, I'm going to be using my Lenormand's deck as illustrated and just played as we see here. In addition to um, a few other oracle decks that I feel that might give you some fruitful part and advice, okay? So, gentlemen, prior to getting into your reading, I first like to say that if this reading resonates with you, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now, okay? So let's go on and get started, gentlemen, with just examining a few observations or making a few observations um, regarding your spread here. Okay, gentlemen, the female that I'm kind of seeing coming towards you, she seems to be very family-oriented. She seems stable, gentlemen. She seems to be either, she might even be a landlord or a land-type lady or housewife, or you may already be married to her. I'm also feeling or getting a sense, gentlemen, that this woman is very popular. She's a party type girl and she's very sociable. She seems to be very business oriented also German and an entrepreneur. Okay? But I'm kind of getting the sense that she might be an opportunist. Okay? She seems to have a curvy motherly type um, protective type nature about herself. But I'm also seeing another female here that seems to be a bit emotionally unstable and she seems to be very scattered as well as confused gentlemen. I'm also feeling that this woman seems to be a female that you may have had some dealings with before, or she just might appear to be as your soulmate, or you feel she's your soulmate. But um, nevertheless, it looks like she, you know she's someone from your past that might be coming back to rekindle that fire that you guys once shared. Okay, I'm feeling that there are some type of unclear domestic situations as it relates to her. Perhaps she's in temporary housing or she has some type of, it looks like family trouble that appears to be going on. Okay, again, getting back to the fact that I feel that she's a party animal, she, it looks like that she drinks heavily as well too. Okay, and I'm also seeing a lot of deceptive friends that seems to be surrounding her. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, let's go on and get started and start with the card falling to the bottom of the deck. Here we have that moon card. And so, gentlemen, this card is all about our needs as well as our emotions. And it connects to water signs, Pisces, Cancers, as well as Scorpios. So this card says, gentlemen, that a woman might just as well be a seductress. It might even be highly recognized, gentlemen, in her career. Okay? And for some of you, she might even, gentlemen, have... Um, fair, light type color hair, you know. She also appears very creative and intuitive, gentlemen, as well as her face appears full and a bit pale for some of you. I'm also seeing round eye, a round eyed person, and someone that appears to be quite moody. And having this card, gentlemen, she could be quite a bit famous, or, um, you know, if not famous, she's just certainly very popular, okay. Let's look at our next card here, gentlemen. We have that house card. And gentlemen, this card is all about stability and domestic affairs of all sorts. And it draws our attention to Earth-type signs. So that's Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo, as well as the water signs again. So this card says that this woman is very grounded, gentlemen, as suggested from the outset. And she appears to me to be financially secure. She's very family-oriented and might even be a bit stubborn and overly protective. Okay, I'm also getting a sense, I'm seeing light or medium brown hair, and she appears to me to be solidly built, of course, like I, as I suggested to you, there are multiple women in this reading, and she might even be involved, gentlemen, in real estate, or might be a realtor, or a landlady of some sort, okay? The next card here, gentlemen, is that garden card, and gentlemen, this card is all about um, festive occasions or crowds in the general public. And what you'll find, gentlemen, is that Venus rules this card and the air signs are usually very prominent here. So we have the Geminis, the Libra, and the Aquarius, as well as, gentlemen, the fire signs, Leos, Aries, and or Sagittarius. So this card might suggest that if you have yet to meet this woman, you might just as well meet her at a social event, even a party, or perhaps, gentlemen, while on training at a workshop of some sort. But in any event, gentlemen, this card says that she's a very active woman. 
social and very popular. And it looks like, gentlemen, that she certainly loves the outdoors. And since, gentlemen, that she's a party gore, you know, she might be a bit promiscuous with this card, okay? Because, gentlemen, this card makes a person very street smart, very outgoing. And as I suggested already, she's very attractive. And um, she might even like gardening or likes doing things outdoors a lot, okay? Once again. Your next card here, gentlemen, is card 34, and that represents the fish card. And gentlemen, this card is certainly all about money and business, and it draws our attention right back again to water and earth-type signs. Okay? So this card shows that this woman is very business savvy. She's even an entrepreneur. Um, I also, with this card, gentlemen, see dark or dark grayish hair, or either brown or hazel green eyes. They're all strong possibilities. Strong dark features I'm seeing, okay? She appears very successful. She might also work in finance with this card or be an accountant or an investor of some sort, okay? Gentlemen, the next card here is the Clover's card. And gentlemen, that card is all about optimism and luck and draws our attention back again to fire and earth type signs. So this card says that she's quite a progressive individual. More than likely, gentlemen, a risk taker and Perhaps even with this card, a potential gambler. You know, it looks like she has an open mind, gentlemen, and I'm feeling that she might even be an opportunist or even, in fact, a gold digger having this card, okay? And as I already suggested with this card, she might even have green eyes, and she's quite humorous, okay? It's also quite possible, gentlemen, that she might even work in some type of entertainment field. It could be even uh, with this card potentially as a clown or a stand-up comedian. Okay, and gentlemen, we know that this next card here represents her, so there is no need for further discussion. So let's move right along to your next card here. We have the bear, okay? So gentlemen, this card is certainly all about power, strength, and cash windfalls of all sorts. And the ruler with this card, gentlemen, is Jupiter, and it connects us with the Earth signs, once again, the Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. So this card says that she's overprotective, controlling. And quite possibly, gentlemen, she might even be a bit athletic with this card. And for some of you, she might even have an overweight problem. You know, since the house here, you know, we kind of see the house here that's also in this reading. And it shows a heavier set type woman who might even be a bit stout, okay? She's possibly, gentlemen, as I suggested, a financial consultant and she's very caring. She could even potentially, gentlemen, be a judge, a director, a lawyer. But... At best, I'm kind of picking up an older type personality. She might be a bit older than you, okay? The next card, gentlemen, we have here is the clouds, okay? So, gentlemen, the clouds, you know, it's all about confusion and negativity, and it connects us with air type signs, Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius. So, this card says that this woman might even be bipolar and very unstable, you know? And her eyes might once again be a brown, blue, or either hazel. In any event, gentlemen, this card brings about a very moody and confused type temperament or personality. And with this card, gentlemen, she might even have salt pepper hair, okay? But at best, she's a true pessimist by nature, and she might even be a widower with this card, okay? And gentlemen, our last card that we're going to be examining here, the Lumas card, is the dog card. And gentlemen, this card is all about a loyal friend or a soulmate type connection. And its ruler is Venus, and it connects us with water signs once again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios. So this card undoubtedly shows that this is certainly someone that you already know. It could potentially be an ex-flame or someone from whom you've been estranged that have come back as a last go around with you, okay? So, gentlemen, this is what I have in terms of your Lenormus card. So now let's go on and get right along into um, examining a few other oracle cards that I decided to go on and just um, give you more part and advice on. Let's start with Doreen's Virtues Romance Angels card. Um, I actually selected two. The first, um, gentlemen, is, is kind of urging you to really start paying or learning to pay attention to the red flags because it seems that in your romantic situations, the signs have always been present. And perhaps you, with having your rose-colored glasses on, have, you know, not really noticed it or you've noticed it, but you just haven't really taken it to heart. 
So you need to start paying more attention to the red flags that are kind of coming towards you. And also, gentlemen, you need to learn to love yourself first with this card. Because your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted to others. If you constantly find yourself getting with someone that you're letting use you and abuse you, you know, they really have no respect for you. So you might want to learn how to love yourself a bit more and to really know your worth, okay? The next card I decided to select also comes from Doreen's Virtues deck, the Unicorn deck. And the card selected is... Guys, listen to your true feelings and don't let others talk you into doing something that you don't want to do or that you know, in fact, in your heart that is indeed wrong, okay? So follow your own intuition and trust yourself in this matter. The next card I decided to select also comes from, um, gentlemen, Doreen's Virtues deck, and it's the healing um, with the angels card and this card is kind of suggesting guys that maybe you really need to focus and give more attention also attribute it more to yourself and once you start getting more focused and get yourself right you know you're gonna it's gonna relationships are just gonna just come right into your life okay the next card i decided to select or cards also comes from the rings virtues deck messages from your angels and i decided to select two it also shows gentlemen that once you focus and get yourself in shape a new love is just right in around the corner for you you know new love is there for you and it wants you to embrace it but it wants you to understand with this card here um, that comes from Colette's Baron Reed's deck, and I've been saying this a lot in a lot of you guys reading, is that you're going to have to uh, understand that a sad embrace is forthcoming. Perhaps you might be experiencing a period of loss because perhaps someone that you've been with or someone that you are going to be with, you're going to be separated from. And you should not try to will this person back into your life because this card is suggesting that they're being taken out of your life for a reason and you should be happy for it for the fact that they are, in fact, gone, okay? And gentlemen, last but not least, well, actually, we have two more cards to look at. Um, uh, uh, we're going to look at this card also, which comes from Doreen's Virtues deck. You have a message from Archangel Michael, and he's telling you that he's certainly with you, you know, giving you the courage to kind of make the life changes that you need. And although with change, guys, it's very hard at times, but nevertheless required. So you need to try to focus on yourself and call upon him when you're feeling fearful. Okay. Another card I decided to select comes from Celia Brown's My Spiritual Reading Cards. And the message with this card, gentlemen, is just this simple. Don't try to gain love by being someone else's slave. Remember that you matter too. You know, remember it's all about knowing your own worth. And last but not least, you guys, I had another card to kind of jump out of the deck on me from the messages of your angels card. And Sonya actually appeared. And basically what this card is suggesting, gentlemen, is that she's bringing you a message from someone that you've lost, a deceased loved one, or someone that you really cared about that, um, who have crossed over to the other side. And what they're saying is to, perhaps maybe you guys have been stressing a little bit about this person or not, but this card is indicating to you that this person is certainly okay, and they're with you, and they're watching you, and they will guide you every step of the way. So, gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has provided and offered food for thought for you. Um, gentlemen, once again, if this reading resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. And gentlemen, if you'd like to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com for pricing, okay? Gentlemen, I look forward to hearing your comments and do have a nice day. Thank you.